In this video, you're going to learn how to get your Facebook Business Manager account verified in just a few minutes. Now, even if the start verification button is currently grayed out for you and you're unable to start the process, don't worry, this video will show you exactly how to fix it. This whole process takes just a few minutes from start to finish, so let's dive straight in. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is like this video if you find it helpful. So it really does help the channel if you tap that like button, it helps get this video in front of more people to help them get their business manager account verified as well. So I really do appreciate it. But seriously, onto the first step, which is to go to the Facebook business manager. Once you're there, you need to go to your business manager settings. So for me, it's down in the bottom left, I've got my business manager settings, the button that I can click. If you're using the business suite, because I know some people have been upgraded to that, then you just need to find how to access the business settings from that screen. So for me, I'm going to click on business settings. Once you're in business settings, if you go down and click on security center, you'll notice that business verification is most likely grayed out. So you'll have either continue or start verification and that process won't be enabled yet. But don't worry, I'm about to show you how to do that. So what you need to do is go back over to the menu on the left and under accounts, you need to click on apps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new app. Now don't worry, if you've tried this in the past and the method of creating an app hasn't worked for you, this is actually an updated way of doing it. So this should work even if creating an app hasn't worked for you in the past. There's a few differences here. So click on create a new app ID. And then we're going to choose games. So create a HTML5 game hosted on Facebook and click next. Enter anything for the display name and click create app. Enter your password, hit submit. Okay, from here, you simply need to click on uh, setup under games. I agree and click confirm. All right, now we just need to enter a few quick details for this game. All of this is dummy data. We're not going to enter anything real. Now, the other thing you might be worried about here is that because we're entering dummy data, Facebook mightn't like it. But what we're going to do is we'll do this process and then we'll come back. We're going to actually delete this app and remove it all so it's nice and clean and there's nothing left in the background. So you don't need to worry about that at all. So come in here, enter something for the tagline, enter your name for the publisher if you want. Choose a category and just choose anything. I just choose action and then scroll down and we're just going to hit save changes. Okay, the next step here is to go up to your app settings and choose basic. And we're just going to enter a few more details here. So we need a privacy policy URL. Uh, you can put in your actual privacy policy or I just put in Google in this case. And then I just copy and paste that into the user data deletion section here. Going to upload an app icon. This can be any image as long as it's 1024 by 1024 pixels. I'll include a link in the description below if you just wanna use the blank image that I use as well in case that's helpful. So click that, choose your file. I'm gonna choose my nice blue square icon here. And we've got an app icon. Now you can see here my verification button is still grayed out. Uh, so I'm just going to save these changes again. And now the next step is actually to go over here to app review on the left, click that and click permissions and features. Now what you'll notice here, if you scroll down a little bit, some of these features actually say only available with business verification. So choose one of the features that say that and click request and then click continue. Now from here, all we need to do is go back to settings, basic. And if you scroll down now, you can see the start verification, or in my case, complete verification button is actually enabled. So at this point, you can actually go and start to complete the verification process. That is the first big hurdle, complete. So what we wanna do is click start verification or complete verification, click that button, and we're going to go and begin the verification process. This is pretty easy. So the first thing you wanna do is enter your business details. That's the first step. Enter the legal name of your business. It's really important here that the legal name you enter matches your official business documents. So whatever is on your certificate of formation or your official business formation documents must be entered exactly the same here as the legal name of business, okay? Choose your country, enter your address. So I'm just going to pop in an example address here, but again, you should put in your real address. So the address you enter here needs to match exactly what's on your official business documents. Enter your business website and just hit next. So what Facebook does now is they've just searched some public databases and they will try and find your business. So have a look through this list. If you can see your business name with the correct address listed, all you need to do is select that and click next. 
If, however, you don't see your business listed, maybe the name is there but the address is incorrect or maybe it's not there at all, then you simply click none of these match. Click next. And if you've chosen none of these match, it's now going to ask you to verify your business name. So you need to upload legal documents to verify the name of your business. In my case, I just use the certificate of formation and that worked perfectly fine, but you can upload anything that's on this list. So upload the document, click next. On that next screen, you'll just need to verify your business address or phone number. I chose phone number because it was quick and easy. And then after that, you just need to choose a verification method, go through that final step. And then what's going to happen is you will submit your application for verification. And usually within three days, Facebook are going to approve that for you. But if it's not approved within three days, don't panic, just wait. They will get back to you. Sometimes it does take a little longer. The other thing I'll mention here is this only works for incorporated businesses. It doesn't work for sole traders or individuals. So you do need to have a registered company if you're going to register your business manager. Just something important to note there. So once you've got your business officially verified, the last thing to do is just to go back and clean up that app that we created as part of the process. So all you need to do is go back over to the app screen here. Uh, the other way to access that that is from the business settings menu, go to apps, select your app here and click open in app dashboard. It's going to bring you back to that apps screen. Now to delete the app, you just go to settings, advanced, scroll down. At the very bottom, it's got remove app. So you can click remove app, hit remove, and that will officially delete the app once you enter your password and submit it. But just remember, make sure you are verified before you go back and delete the app. Now, if this video has helped, all I ask is that you tap that like button. It makes a huge difference to the channel. And if you wanna hear more from me, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.